Hello, Anita, welcome. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you? ¿Cómo are you? How mal, fíjese. Bastante mal. Ay, no. A la fuerza rebajé, he rebajado cinco libras. Oh, my God. Ay, no, él dice, pues qué lástima, mire, espero que, que ya se mejore pronto, porque si ya varios días, mire, casi cuatro días. Sí, lo que me ha estado como molestando es la, la fiebre horrible, y la, ahorita todos tengo, es lo que me está como molestando. Ay, no, ok, yo, pues bueno, pero hay que hablar lo más poquito posible, la voy a hacer a que hable poquito ahora. Vaya. Ok, good, good. Gracias. Thank you. Hello, Sandrita, Jamilet. Hello, Hello Mirna. Good evening. Cynthia, welcome to your class. Welcome to another day. It is a pleasure for me to have you here. I hope you had a very good weekend and I hope that uh, you are ready to start another week of learning, right? So we are going to be working Today on the platform, we're going to be working on the platform a little bit, and we are going to be uh, doing the exercises, discussing a little bit about some details of the platform. So that's basically what we are going to do today. And we are going to cover a little bit of the topics of the day. So my dear students, welcome to your class. Let me just open everything and have it ready. Okay, and in a moment, we are going to go over all the things that we are pendant to do today. So tell me, did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Tuvieron un buen fin de semana? Yes, no? Yes. And no, yes. I know, Leticia didn't have a good weekend. <laughs> okay. Tell me three activities that you did on the weekend. Three activities that you did on the weekend. Uh -huh, Vilma. Um, you, can, you can use the verbs, okay, work. What else? Work. Um, Life. Hello, good evening. Work, work, and work. <laughs> work and work. Work, work yes. and work and work. Okay, uh, yeah, that's a lot of working, right? Like me, I work on Saturday, I work on Sunday, I work on Friday, I work every day. Okay, Vilma, work. Tell me, Sandra, work. one activity that you did on the weekend. You can use a verb. Work. Work, <laughs> another work. <laughs> Yamilet Ardon. <laughs> One activity that you did on the weekend. Una actividad que hiciste en el fin de semana. Where is Jamilet? Uh -huh. no. Run. Okay, run. Good. Another activity. Wendy, Lisette, give me one activity that you did on the weekend. Back with my friend. Okay. Chat, you say. Walk. Ah, walk. Walk. Mm -hmm. Okay, walk, 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 walk. Very good. Roxana, Yasmin, one activity that you did on the weekend? Uh, I studied. Yeah, I studied. Good. Good. Very good. Very good. You studied. Nice. Let me see. Mireya Beatriz, give me one activity that you did on the weekend. I study e and practice. practice 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 guitar oh practice the guitar very good job hey that's nice that you can play the guitar that's beautiful okay excellent let me see 
Another activity. Let me see. I am going to ask Rosa Maria, give me one activity that you did on the weekend. One activity that you did on the weekend. The microphone, Rosita, está well. Teacher, capacitación in, in a training in Guatemala. A training in Guatemala? Yes. Nice. So you had a training in Guatemala. That's yes. beautiful. It's nice. Guatemala is really beautiful. I really love it. Okay, so as you can see, we did many activities on the weekend, right? And many of you were also working on the platform as well. So that is pretty nice that you had the opportunity to work on your platform and to advance. People, remember that it is very important to send uh, the document that they ask for, okay? Les pidieron un documento que era el comprobante del manual. Eso es muy importante que lo enviemos, chicos. Hay que imprimirlo, hay que llenarlo, e enviarlo por, ese, por WhatsApp. ¿okay? Es muy importante hacer el envío de eso. Si usted ya lo hizo, pues, súper bien. Y si no lo hemos hecho, pues, creo que, eh, ¿cuándo es el último día que tienen para enviarlo? Mañana, si no me equivoco. Mañana, no, no lo recuerdo. Pero ahí se lo enviamos nosotros en su momento cuando no... ¿Llenamos documentos? Eh, vale. Es que lo que pasa es que cada módulo es un comprobante diferente. Por ejemplo, el Perfecto. módulo pasado enviaron el del el módulo 1. Hoy tenemos que enviar el del módulo 2. ¿Okay? Cuando, cuando llenaron el, el, la documentación para el módulo 2, no sé si ahí mismo lo llenaron, pues no? está bien. Vale. Si él lo envió, pues eh, puede hacer el reenvío o la corroboración ahí de los datos para que podamos revisar que ya lo envió y pues si no me lo puedes reenviar de regreso ahí para y ese que no lo puede mandar por WhatsApp teacher sí creo que se los enviaron hoy por la mañana también oh. lo tienen en el grupo el comprobante si sí. no me equivoco así que chicos eso es muy importante que lo hagan okay. ahí quiero ver eh, lo enviaron justo se lo mandan por PB Sí, se los envían en PDF. Si no, lo voy a solicitar y es, ahí está. Está justo aquí. Aquí se lo voy a contestar yo. Voy a poner un mensajito y ahí lo tienen. Ahí, okay, ahí les acabo de enviar el mensaje donde se los han enviado. So please, eh, that is very important, right? I need you to send that as soon as possible. So you can, you can eh, be there with all your documents on time, okay? So let's work. I am going to work a little bit on the platform today. So I know everybody has finished what we were doing on the platform. We're going to be working on that right now. And I am going to go over all the exercises so we can check that you have everything complete. Okay, so we are going to work today a little bit on all the exercises on the platform about sections one and two for you to check that you have everything complete, okay? Le vamos a chequear que todo en su plataforma esté completado para estas dos semanas y para lo que viene en esta semana, okay? So this is your course and this is what you are supposed to be done with uh, on the platform. The first part, we had uh, to complete conversations with verbs. I know many of you finished them already, so we're going to check. In this one, you had to choose one of the options between leave and leaves. Remember that when we have the different subjects like he, she, and it, we are going to use the specific verb for he, for she, and for it, what type of verb are you going to use? ¿Qué tipo de verbos ocupamos con estos? Das. Ah, so we are going to use the different verbs in the third form. All the verbs with the S or ES or IES at the end, okay? And for all the other verbs for we, for you, 
uh, for they and for I, you use the normal forms of verbs, right? Here, you are going to use the normal verb, okay? Without changes, the normal verb. So set this, we're going to go here. If you have here, for example, in this case, my family and I, what type of subject is this one? My family and I, ¿qué sujeto sería? It's I, you, we, they, he, she. It's hey, they. It's normal. They. Exactly, it's they. So you are not going to say lives in this one. You are going to say my family and I live in the suburbs. My wife and I, what is that? My wife and I. My wife and I. Si tú estás incluido, ¿qué sujeto es? ¿Es they or we? Es we. We, porque tú estás incluido, right? My wife and I, and you have two options, works or work. 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 Because the only ones with S, ES, and IES is the he, she, and it. And if you have, for example, in this case, my wife and I, we, so you use a normal verb. The next one. So we, in this case, you have two options, walks or walk. Work. We work. walk or work. we walks. Work. 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 Normal work. verb, right? Our daughter, Emily. ¿Quién sería el sujeto en este caso? Our daughter, Emily. Nuestra hija, Emily. Ella. Ajá. Uh -huh. So in this, in this case is? Yeah. She. Yeah. So in this case, we use works or work? Works. 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 Exactly like that. So she drive or drives? Drive. Drives. Drives to work. Our song, our song in this case, what is our song? El. It's he, he right? It's he. El. So it he. says, our song don't or doesn't? Doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't right? Doesn't drive. He rides or ride? Rides. He rides. Rides. He rides his bike to school, right? My parents. ¿Qué sujeto sería my parents? My eh, eh, they, 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 exactly. They. they. In this case, they live or they live? They, they, they live. They live. My mother. What she, subject I, is my mother? She, exactly. So you say my mother take or takes? They, 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 takes. Takes a train to work. My father. What subject is it? He. he, very good. My father is retired, so he doesn't or don't. Doesn't. 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 He doesn't work now. He also, he also use or uses? Uses. Uses, uses. because it's he. So they don't or doesn't? They don't, don't. or they don't. doesn't? Don't. don't. They don't need a car, right? And then you click on enviar and all the answers are correct. You have to be analytical, my dear students. You have to read and analyze. Tienen que fijarse, leer, analizar un poquito. And you say, oh, what subject am I using? Is it he, is it she, is it singular, is it plural, right? And you can use it like that. Let's go to the next exercise then. We finish the first one. Let's go to the next one. In this one, we have in the next conversation, we have my parents have or has. In this case, let's go to the next one. Say for he, she, and it, we use has. And for we, you, and they, and I, you use have. Okay, this is an irregular verb. Este es un verbo irregular que cambia su forma, right? No sería con S, no sería con IES. Es que tiene su forma para he, she, it. Has, and for we, you, and they, have. My parents, is it singular or plural? Plural. It's a plural, it's plural. they. And you say my parents 
Have or have. has? Have. Good, very good. My mom and dad. Have. 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 Aha, uh -huh, but in this case we have go and goes. This is another irregular verb. Go. Go. Okay, here we have goes. And this one is? Goes. Okay, my mom and dad. Two people. Let's go. 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 What about the next one? My parents. And here I have the other specific form. Does and here I have the other one that is do. My parents, mm. two people. Do. Aha, uh -huh. let's continue reading and analyze. My parents are very busy, so I do. I do a lot of work at home. My brother doesn't live with us. He, has. he has an apartment in the suburbs. He goes or go? he goes. 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 He goes, goes, right? He goes. And he does. 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 His homework at night. I. I have or I, I has. Have. I have. have. I have. I have. His name is Jason. We. Go. We go yeah. or we go. goes. Go. 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 We go, right? We go. We go. We, we have it yeah. right here. We go to the same school. And sometimes we do or does. Do, do, do. We do our homework together. And there you go. You have your second exercise complete. Let's continue right here on the next exercise, right? And let me move a little bit on my day. There you go. On this one, what are we going to do on this one, people? On the next exercise that we have, we have to create the sentences, right? <laughs> In this one, we have to be very careful. What are the characteristics of a sentence? First, we need to have the auxiliary, do or does. Then we have the subject. Then we have the verb. And then we have the complement. What is an example of this one? And we say, okay, I am going to make a sentence. And it says like, do you live in the suburbs? Okay. Oh my God. Okay, I am going to leave it. Do you live in the what? Okay, do you live, do you live downtown? I'm going to leave it like that. Do you live downtown? And here we have all the different parts. You have the sub, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement. What is the first thing that you need in the sentence? Es lo primero que vamos a poner en esta oración. Do. So we say, do. do el siguiente sería? You. Do, do you. you. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Every. Exercise. 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 And the complement? Every, Every day. day. So in this one, you say, do you exercise every day? Exactly like that. Do you exercise every day? Y aquí tenemos el ejemplo. Do you exercise every day? And you have the mm -hmm. complete sentence. Do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise every day. Uh -huh. If we have here, let's go to the next one. What is the first thing that you are going to use here? Do you. Exactly. Well, so you say, do. Do. You. Ajá, pero aquí tenemos un eje diferenciador. WH question. Very good. Si tenemos una WH question, va antes que la auxiliar. So you have WH auxiliary 
Then you have the verb. And teacher, esa es como una regla, ¿verdad? Exactly. Like Cuando that. está la WH. La WH goes at the beginning, right? Then you have the auxiliary, the subject, you have the verb, and then you have the complement. complement. How are you going to create the sentence then? Let's see. Let's create one sentence. And in this one, WH. So you say, what time? That's the WH form, right? What time do you do, do you, you eat? Eat time. Eat, uh, lunch. eat lunch. lunch. What time do you eat lunch? And then you have a complete sentence, right? What time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat lunch? And then you have the complete sentence, right? So those are the two structures that you need to follow, right? The two structures that you need to follow at the time of making the questions. And we have to organize it like that. What time do you eat lunch? And the question mark, it's very important, right? Here you have it, but if you don't have it, you have to put it. What about this one? What is the first part of this sentence? Primero vamos a analizarla. Tenemos WH? No. No, right? We don't have. We don't have WH. So if we don't have WH, we're going to look for? Para lo primero. Das. Das. What is the subject? This. This what? Class. What is class? This class. What is the verb? At. No, what is the verb? Star. 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 Antes de la hora, ¿qué ponemos? At. 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 Eight. Eight o'clock. And you, and you might say, teacher, es que no me agarra el apóstrofe, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. Pero tal vez la estábamos poniendo al revés. Dos, <laughs> eight o'clock, this class starts at, y el apóstrofe no tenía la culpa. So, la culpa la teníamos que la habíamos puesto incorrecta. So, we say, does this class start at eight o'clock? o'clock right and there you have the sentence does this class start at eight o'clock that was the sentence right what about the next one <clears throat> tenemos wh word yes when. yes when. right and we have when. when when what is the auxiliary do you do when you. do you and the verb study study, study. what english. english 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 there you go you English. have it. So you have, when do you study English? And there you have your sentence, right? When do you study English? And then you have the sentences there. What about the last one? Do you have WH in the last one? No. No, right? What is the auxiliary? You. Do, right? What is the subject? You. You and who? You and your friends. Todo eso es el sujeto. Do you and your friends. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Play. Play, Play what? Sports. Play sports. Play sports. ¿Cuándo? Play sports. On weekends. On, the, on weekends. weekends. On weekends, right? And there you have it, right? At what time do you eat lunch? ¿Qué pasó aquí? Le puse el question mark cuando ya lo tiene la respuesta. Aquí lo tiene ya en la respuesta. So you say, you don't need it. And that's the On sentence. The okay? That's the sentence. And that was what you were supposed to do. Okay? Si alguien, por ejemplo, ha dejado un ejercicio por ahí con 60, 70%, corrijan. Okay. Yo lo tengo así. Yes. Es que mi apóstrofe no me lo agarraba porque en la computadora hay dos y yo ponía uno. ¿Qué lo adelante? corregí y me mejoró. Sí. No, no, no. Ok, so there you go. And in the last exercise, you have schedules, right? You have schedules. It's not schedules, right? It's a schedules. The schedules are the different things that people do in different times of the day. So, 
What you have to do here is to organize it according to the picture, right? In this case, we have an example. She gets up, she takes the bus, she goes to class, she works, she studies, right? But what about Joshua? Do you remember what is the first thing that Joshua does? And it says, what's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 and go for a run before breakfast. So he goes for a run. So that is number one. He goes for a run before breakfast. ¿Qué hace después de correr? Desayuna. Aha, uh -huh. he has breakfast. So that is section number, number two. Number two. And it says, how do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at eight. Around one, I take lunch. So oh. after breakfast, he starts work. That is number three. And then he, what? He takes lunch, but that's not an option. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we have an option that we didn't consider. It's like he gets up, right? That is number one. Then he gets up, he goes for a run. Then he has breakfast. He starts work. And the last one that he did is he eats dinner. That is the last option. What about Maya? She's a rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. It says, I work at night, right? She goes to work. That will be the first one, the first option. What is the second thing that she does? What do you do after work? I have dinner, then I take a taxi home. When do you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning, right? So what is the last thing that she does? She goes to bed, that is the last one. Then before going to bed, she, she has dinner, right? She has dinner. And then what is uh, the other option? I know she goes to work, she goes home, she has dinner, this is number three, okay? And I made a mistake. She goes to work, she finished work, she has dinner, she goes to work, she goes home and she goes to bed, right? Those are the different options that you have here. So the first thing that she does is that she goes to work. Then she finishes work. Then she has dinner. Then she goes home and she goes to bed. So those are the options here. So that was section number one. Esa era la sección uno. Esa era todo lo que teníamos que hacer en la sección uno. And then on section number two, right? On section number two of your book, we were supposed to do Three different exercises. Aquí solo habían tres ejercicios. This is what we were just explaining, right? Lo que acabamos de explicar. Linda, <clears throat> and you have you. What auxiliary do you use with you? She? No, no. Is, what auxiliary? Auxiliary. Do. Do. You. Do. Si, ya, si ya usamos el auxiliar, el verbo es normal verb right do you so you cannot say do you live so do you live in an apartment do like do and live live in this case do you live in an apartment and it says no i what is the negative auxiliary for i don't no i don't i live in a house no, I don't. I live in a house. Eat. Estamos hablando de la casa. 
it. Does. What does. auxiliary do you use? Does. Does. Right? Say, does it have. 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 Okay, so porque have. el verbo es normal si ya ocupamos does. Does it yes. have a yard? A yard is un patio, right? Yes, it do. Ok, si tenemos do. el auxiliar eh, para yes. it, ¿sería? Do. 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 Lo ocupamos para... Ah, no, Sería ah yes, it does. Porque es tercera persona. Yes, it does. Mm. Si tenemos yes, no puede decir does it. Porque sería sí, pero no. <ríe> yes, it does. <ríe> yeah, like Salvadorians, right? Sí, fíjate, pero quizás no. <ríe> yes, it does. ¿Quieres ir bien? <ríe> Then you don't say it anyway. That sounds nice. You alone. Do you do live? Do you live? Do you live alone? Do you live alone? Do you live alone? No, I. I do. No, I. Don't. No, I don't. don't. I don't. live with my family. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre live y live? Live es cuando estamos en vivo ya sea en una grabación, en la tele o en Facebook, en TikTok, live. Live is when you are in your house, right? Yo vivo ahí. I live. Okay? No, I don't. I live with my family. That sounds nice. You, any brothers or sisters? Do, do you have Do you have, do right? Have. Porque con have lo usamos con he, she, it. He, it lo usamos con we, you, and they. Ya me confundí yo. Right? <laughs> have is for have. the normal people. We, you, and they. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. Yes, I, do. I have four sisters. Really? Your house, many bedrooms. Your house. Eso sería it sí. en este caso. Your house. Estamos hablando de la casa. Uh -huh. That's. So you say does. Does. It. Have. Y ya ocupamos does. El verbo es normal. Does it have. Does it have many bedrooms. Right. Yes, it. Que ocupamos con it, lo acabamos de ocupar aquí. Das. 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 Yes, it does. It has four. Right? Because you, have, you are still using it here. You, your own bedroom. Do. Linda, do you, do you have? have? ¿Tienes tu propio dormitorio? Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I. Do. do. I am really lucky. Right? And there you go. We made a mistake on one. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry. Let me see. No, but this is correct. Ah, this one. That sounds nice. Ah, yo escogí el que no era, sorry. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Okay. En el double click se me fue. And there you go. Everything is correct. Okay. So that is the first exercise in section number two. We have the second exercise that was not really complicated. And it says, <clears throat> there are and there is. As its name suggests, so you say there are is for plurals. And there is is for singulars, right? If we are talking about chairs, in this case, estamos hablando de las sillas, is this singular or plural? Plural. It's plural, right? It's a plural form. But do you say like, I have some chairs in the kitchen. And the next one says, there are, there are chairs some. in the kitchen, right? There are some chairs in the kitchen. I have some chairs in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen, right? There you have the equivalent of the sentence. 
I have a stove in the kitchen. There is. There is a stove in the kitchen, right? There is a stove in the kitchen. To say like, yo tengo una cocina en la cocina, y hay una cocina en la cocina, okay? Hay una estufa en la cocina. I don't have a refrigerator. There is no. There is no refrigerator, right? There is no refrigerator. No hay refri. I don't have curtains on the windows. There are no. There are no, right? There are no curtains, Sandra. What a beautiful dog. Yes. It was so beautiful there. I don't have curtains on the windows. There are no curtains on the windows, right? I don't have any rugs on the floor. No tengo alfombras en el piso. There are no. There are no, right? There are no rugs on the floor. And there you have it, right? That is what you were supposed to do, to write the equivalent of the sentence. And the last exercise for section number two, esta sección estaba linda porque solo habían tres ejercicios. This is a reading, a reading about two houses, right? And in this one, we have different things in the reading. Three chairs, plural. Many books, plural. Colorful paintings, plural. Porch with a pink floor. Is a singular or plural? Porch. It says porches? No, it's only, porch. it's singular, right? Porch. Singular. Two beds. Plural. Plural. A wood burning stove. Singular. 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 ¿Qué significa wood burning stove? Wood, wood. wood, madera, right? Wood burning stove. Es una cocina de madera. De leña. Madera. Ah, de leña. Una cocina de leña, right? Una cocina de leña. What are the singular things in Sandra Cisneros' house? There is a. ¿Qué era lo singular que ella tenía? What are the singular things? Porch. There is a porch. Uh -huh. A porch with a pink floor. Uh -huh. what, is, what is something plural that she had in her house? Something plural that she had in her house. So she had a porch. What else did she have? A plural thing. Many books, colorful porch. paintings, two beds. Ah, many books. ¿Y cuál era la otra cosa plural que tenía Sandra Cisneros in her house? Colorful paintings. Colorful paintings, right? So as you say, there is, there is a porch with a pink floor. There are colorful paintings. There are many books. What about the next one? In Nelson's home, that was this curious house, right? And in this one, we have the following. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in the traditional Native American homes called Hogans. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Logan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. So there you have your answer. Esta va su respuesta. And in here we have, let's go here. There is a, ¿cuál era el singular? Wood, wood, wood burning stuff. There is a wood burning stuff. There are two beds on the floor and there are three chairs. That's it. 
okay? And those were the answers. I sent them to your, uh, to your WhatsApp, right? There is a porch with a pink floor, colorful paintings, many books. There is a wood burning stove, three chairs and two beds in the floor, okay? That was the only thing that you were supposed to do, right? Si hemos dejado algún ejercicio a medias, si hemos dejado algún ejercicio incompleto, termínenlo para que su progreso esté al 100%. Okay? Sherry, en ese caso que se está haciendo esto, el orden no altera el producto en eso. ¿Cómo no? No, no. no. Pero ahí tenemos que tener cuidado porque si los dos eran plurales, no hay problema. Ajá. Uh -huh. Right? The idea is that it was the correct form, right? The idea is that it was correct. So we have to work on lesson three this week and it is the same thing, right? We are going to talk about professions and occupations oh, and you have three different exercises, okay? Estas son las que vamos a hacer esta semana. Trabajenlo para que lo podamos revisar el jueves, okay? So, it was not really complicated. Sí, me quería tomar unos minutitos por si habían dejado algunos ejercicios sin completar, si le faltaba alguno. ¿Para qué? Para que no tuviéramos nada inconcluso y su progreso esté siempre al 100%. Ok, so I am going to call the attendance before I continue with the next exercise. Antes de ir al siguiente ejercicio, voy a pasar listo. Ok, Ana Leticia. Present teacher. Ana, Ana Emilet Cruz. Ana Emilet Cruz Álvarez. Cynthia Marisol Mejía. Present. Okay, let's continue with Daniel Ergardo Mengíbar. Daniel Ergardo. Daniel Elgardo. Ok. Se nos fue a pasear, Daniel Elgardo. Let's see. Let's continue then. Ok. And Fátima Ivín. Fátima Ivín Peña. It's right there. Mayerly Alejandra Pérez. Mayerly Alejandra. Mayerly Yamilet. <laughs> Presente, Jesus. Me escuchó. Yes, right now. Ok, gracias. Let's continue with Mireya Beatriz. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Mirna Yasmin. Present, teacher. Nelson Efraín. Present, teacher. Nubia Daisy. Present teacher. Reina Yael. Present. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Rosa María Salazar. Present teacher. Roxana Yasmín Cedillos. Present. Roxana Yamilet López. Sandra Beatriz Melara. Present. Ubaldo Antonio. Verónica Elizabeth Vázquez. Present. Vilma Concepción. Present teacher. Vilma Isabel Morejón. Present teacher. Violeta Elizabeth Escalante. Violeta Elizabeth. Wendy Lisset. Here teacher. Jennifer Damisela. Here, teacher. Okay, very good job. So, am I missing a couple of people here? Okay, there you go. Roxana Jamilet, I am missing Ubaldo Antonio, Violeta Elizabeth, Mayerly Alejandra, Daniel Edgardo, and Ana Jamilet. I am missing them. Well, let's continue here. Thank you, my dear class. So it is really important that we cover these different things and that we be very careful about the different uh, 
parts of the sentences. You have to be very, very careful on that. So <clears throat> what I was explaining, right, on the different forms of the verbs, I am going to open my presentation for this one. We need to be very careful, right? We were talking about the different schedules of people. Here, let me show my screen. When we talk about the different schedules of people, right? We have to be very careful with the sentences that we use and with the parts of the sentence that we uh, create when we make sentences. What about this one? What do you think is the correct option here? I was explaining the different verbs before, so it's, go it's not going to be complicated. So if we're talking about he, so you say he have or he has? He has. He has an apartment near here. Oh, so you well, walk well. to school. Actually, I don't. don't I don't, right? I take. I take, right? I walk. I walk, right? I walk. Well, what about you? Well. And it says, my husband and I as uh, my husband and I, two people. I have, have have, right? Has is for he, she. Is. So I drive. Drive, I drive, drive, right? My husband doesn't work. Work, work right? Work. Because después del auxiliar va un verbo normal. He Works. He works in the suburbs. So he goes. goes to work by bus. He goes to work by bus. What about the next one? These are questions about you. And you are going to tell me in the answer. So you say, yes, I do. Or no, I do don't okay so in this case if the question is like do you have i have brothers and sisters mm, you say like yes i have or no i don't have okay do you live in the city how do you transform this one? i live in the city the question will be do you live in the city Do you live in the city? That will be the question for number one. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta para la segunda? I have a car. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? Very good. For the third one? Do you live in apartment? Do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment? apartment. Number four. Do you live with my parents? Do you live with my parents? Así sería la pregunta. ¿Vives con mis Do you live with your parents? With your parents, right? Do you live with your parents? ¿Vives con tus papás? Number five. <clears throat> what is question number five? Um, no. I don't know. <laughs> what is the question? Um, ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Why? What, what do you... It says, do? I do my homework at school. <laughs> sería, do doing you. Do you do your do you do? homework? at school do you do your homework at school haces tu tarea en la escuela do you do your homework at school and in this one you say no teacher i do it in my house number six Cinco. what would be question number six como haríamos el número seis en pregunta I don't know. Uh -huh. 
Do you... Sigamos la misma estructura que acabamos de hacer aquí. Do you do, do, you my do yours? Alone? Ajá. My oh. homework or your homework? Your homework. Oh, exactly. Home. Because it's yours, right? Do you do your homework do. alone? Do you do. do you do your homework alone? Number seven. I ride my bike to school. Do you, you ride? Could you ride my bike, bike to school? school? Your bike. Porque si le estamos preguntando a alguien más, do you ride your bike to school? Number eight. What is the question for number eight? I have sister. Do do. Do you have a sister? Do you have a sister? Aquí dice a sister. Sister. Okay, do you have a sister or sisters, right? Do you have sisters or a sisters? What about number nine? Do you have, do you have, brother? do you have brothers or do you have a brother? And number 10? Do you work downtown? Do you work downtown? Do you work downtown? Very good job. Downtown. Do you work downtown? I am going to ask a question. Vamos a ver, voy a agarrar a uno y lo voy a preguntar. <laughs> Reina Jael, do you have sisters? Yes. yes, I do. No, I do. I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. How many? How many? Only one. Only one. Very good answer. Yes. Reina, pregúntele a alguien más. Okay. Uh, Sandra Beatriz. Sandra Beatriz, ajá. Cualquier pregunta. In the city? Do you live in the city? I live in Soyapan. So you say in the city. So you say yes, I ah, do. Yes, okay. I live in Soyapan. Ok, aquí. Volvamos aquí. Si es una respuesta simple, so you say yes, I do. Si queremos dar más información, la damos después de la oración. So you say yes, I do. I live en Soyapango. ¿Ok? Pero la primera respuesta es Yes, I do. Sí, sí vivo. I live in Soyapango. Right? You give extra information. Sandra, ask the question to someone else. Pregúntele a alguien más cualquier pregunta. Um, a Cynthia. Do you have brothers? Cynthia, do you have brothers? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. Cynthia, another question. Um, Nelson? To Nelson. Okay. Do you live with your parents? Nelson, do yes, you live I with do. your parents? Yes, I do. Very good. Nelson, another person. Ajá. Uh -huh. Do. To whom? ¿A quién le vas a preguntar? Eso estoy viendo ahorita. <laughs> ok. Wendy quiere. Wendy Lizette quiere responder. <laughs> ok. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw it in your face. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh, no, okay. Do you like, do you like in the city? Live or live? Le live. <laughs> ah, very good, very good, very good. Yes, I do. Wendy, another person. Okay. Veamos. Fatima, I have a sister. No. Question. Ah, in question. Do you have a sister? Very good. Do you have a sister? Okay, I will answer. Mayerly is going to answer. Mayerly te va a responder. Okay. Mayerly, do you have a sister? Repeat, please. Do you have a sister? Do you have a yes, sister? I do. 
Yes, I do. You see, my early. Mm -hmm. I have a one sister. I have a one, one sister. No, a one, no. I have one. One. Porque, I have ¿qué, one. ¿qué diríamos si decimos a one? Una, una. Yo tengo ah, una, una, una hermana. Una. Ajá. So, I have one <laughs> sister. Very good one job. One sister. Okay, Mayerly, give me one question. Ask me one question. Okay. Um, do you live with your parents? Parents? No, I don't live with my parents. I live with my family. <laughs> I live with my husband and my kid. Only. Okay, good. So that's the form of the questions. As you can see, that's the form of questions. If I take, for example, one question for Roberto Carlos. Roberto, do you live in Santa Ana? No, I don't. I live in San Salvador. Very good. Mireya Beatriz, do you have brothers? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. Let me see. Nubia, do you have a sister? Yes. Yes, uh, yes I, I do. Very good. Yes, I do. Excellent. Vilma Isabel, do you live with your parents? I do. Yes, I do. Mirna Yasmin, do you live alone? No, I don't. Very good. Let me see. Jennifer Damisela, do you live in La Unión? No, I don't. I live in uh, Lourdes. Very good. Fatima Ibin, do you have a pet? Fatima Ibin, hello. El usuario no está presente. <laughs> Veronica Elizabeth, do you have a pet? So, bueno. <laughs> yes, I do. La teacher te está buscando. <laughs> <laughs> Veronica Elizabeth, thank you very much. Jamilet Ardon, okay. do you have a cell phone? Jamilet Ardon, do you have a cell phone? La usuaria tampoco está en línea. Let's go. <laughs> People, I, we are going to go to sleep in a moment. Don't fall asleep before. <laughs> You see, that's the importance of the camera. Es por eso que la cámara es obligatoria. Tenemos que tener nuestras cámaras encendidas. Aunque esté en su cuarto, aunque esté en la cama, aunque esté sentadito, please have your camera active. Because if not, I will be like, Fatima, Fatima. And Fatima is not there. Que llama. Yeah. Fatima waiting for the pupusas right outside, no? So please, I need you to have your camera on all the time. So that's the importance of the questions, you see? That's the way we use the questions. And we are going to cover the last part of our class for today. We have at, in, and on. Important when you use at, in, and on. So you say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. At nine, at noon, at midnight, at night, on Sundays, on weekends, on weekdays. Early, late, and every day no llevan ninguna preposition before, right? It says, you don't say in early in the morning, on early, no. You say early in the morning, late at night, Every day, you don't say on every day, at every day, no, right? When we connect to the class, it's in the evening. So you say, good evening. We don't say good night. Good night, decimos cuando ya nos vamos, good night. But when we connect, we say evening. Okay, so which are the only three that you don't use any word before them? ¿Cuáles son las únicas tres que no llevan palabras antes? Early, late, okay. every day. Every so day. You say, early, late, early, late, and every day. 
Por consiguiente, every morning, every year, every afternoon, they don't use anymore. So we are going to do one little exercise before going to bed. Antes que se me vayan a acostar, le voy a hacer un ejercicio chiquitito de esto. Let me see. I have it right here. Oh my God. It got lost. Okay, se salvan. <laughs> sí, no lo encontró. Yo sé, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. So, I will leave it for tomorrow then. Let's do this one before we go to bed. We just did it on the platform. Lo acabamos de hacer en la plataforma. What is the question here? At 1 p.m., it says. What is the question? Do you... No, no, no. The first one, say. What time, what time, do, you time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat lunch? What about the next one? This does, class. Does, does this class at start a o'clock? Does yes. this class start at eight o'clock? And the last exercise. When, when, when do you study when you English? Study English. Study English. When do you study English? When do you study English? Okay. So tomorrow we are going to reinforce a little bit on schedules. Vamos a trabajar un poquito en los horarios, en las horas, en las diferentes actividades que hacemos entre semana. So please practice a little bit of at and on for tomorrow. Thank you very much for okay. being in Thank the you, class. Teacher. And I will good see you night, tomorrow. Teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.